Okay, it's time for a progress check. Here's where we're at. So now, as you can see, we have the under frame. The fuel tank is setting up right now. As you can see there, that's, that is lead weights. That is two and a half ounces, and it's not done yet. The uh, walkway is complete. Let's get our pointer. Okay. Walkway is complete. Side frames. No, the side frames are based on the side frames from the Mark 14. You can see this. Okay. So the side frames are based on the Mark 14. So they're kind of the same. Something like this. I haven't painted on the yellow yet. But they are multiple parts. And I had to. I really screwed up on the first run of these. And I had to make another one. Because putting those hubs in there right, like that turned out that uh, it was a lot harder on these than I remembered and then I remembered that these I think I made those separate but we got them they're in there now so this truck is based on the EMD HT truck from the GP40X and that truck did not have see right here Right there on, on like a GB7 or 9, you'd have a bunch of leaf springs and a hanger and stuff. And now you let it go back and forth like that. All right. Our truck doesn't do that. Ours is the HT truck, which is a rigid. Because, hey, we are we do yard work around here. None of these are mainline local moves. And what we're building right now is what we call the, a distributed power unit. So when 1803, giant 1803 comes on the track in tow with them, will be this guy will be this guy and that guy has been named has now been named and I will show you has now been named and a number of very critical details have been worked out let's take a look all right so we've got a front face and a rear face you're looking at the front face right now. And I will put my usual signature of two Swarovski jewels. And then we will have one of these 5mm LED headlights in there. Like that. It's not going to stick out that far. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Gosh, maybe he is. Maybe we need a big nose. Anyways, he's got this opening. And in that, I'm going to put this here mosquito screen. That's right, I'm using mosquito screen. I'm not using the scale screen, I'm using mosquito screen that I got at the hardware store. Okay. And he, it says on here he is one of the series of the. You can see very carefully, it's engraved. This one is one of the series of Janus Mighty Caps. When I paint that, you'll be able to read it. Yeah, this is one of the Mighty Caps. But this particular Mighty Calf on the other end has this face. So, my good lord, who's got this face? As my daughter says, he's got the frowny face. And on the frowny face, it says, and it's a little burnt right there, but it. It does say dozer. This guy is going to be called dozer. He gets two headlights like that. I found a dozer that had kind of a face like this. So you can see he's got two eyes and a nose, and there's his frowny face. And then we're going to do, at I think, two editions of Oyster Tin Theater because. One, we gotta make a... Since he's gonna be Dozer, he's known as Dozer because he's gonna have a gigantic oyster tin snowplow. And then, as you can see here, we need to make steps. I'm not 3D printing them this time. 
And I'm not making them individually. I'm not doing styrene. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some oyster tin. We're gonna make a set of steps. We're just gonna bend it as a, from a strip. That's what we're doing. We're not messing around this time. We don't got time to do that. As you can see here, see the, the side frames? They will actually go onto the ends of the axles, but we can't really have that because it'll take away our our uh, independent suspension. But they'll be on here like that close. And then these guys, those hangers, I forget, I don't need to solder them hangers. Put one on the front tube, the same one on the back tube, on both sides, and solder just one of them. Those will touch each other. And that'll be our power pickup. And we're gonna need awesome power pickup. And then we've got the Rev1 motor. He's got Pugs platform on him right now. That's Pugs platform. The bridge rect fire setting up in there. And then one more thing. DH166 D. I'm thinking we're gonna do that. I haven't done it yet. I've been saving those. I don't know why. Why not do it on this guy? All it does is add two light, light functions. So we're going to do our usual light bar like that. We're going to have a beacon. We're going to ha we've got uh, so we've got headlights. And we take two wires. The snow plow is going to have some big old panels like our crane has. That'd be another function. So then we would have one more function, which will probably be, which will probably be something like the light bar. Who knows? But we're going to have some uh, blue lights underneath this. We don't have speed recorders. We got those blue lights. The blue lights will be the speed recorders. So that's where we're at. We're looking pretty good. Now here I'll show you one more secret deal. So if you want to figure out how to do something and you can't figure it out, this is how I do it. See that? My little girl drew me different faces. And we went with we went with this face, with those dots, and that face. That's how we're doing it. Who cares what people think? It's a character called Dozer. And Dozer's gonna be cool. That's what we got. That's where we're at. We're getting closer.